So truthfully, I thought the tacky Volver was going to be one of those weapons that ended up getting a conversion kit. And I don't think that's going to be the case. I'm rather disappointed by it because I thought they were going to turn this thing into like the chainsaw. You know what I mean? You know, the, the classic Hades or the, the chainsaw LMGs. It just kind of fit the bill perfectly. <laughs> Long story short of things is we have a no recoil build here for the tacky Volver. And it is no joke for slow paced players. This thing's an absolute monster. Extremely easy to hit your shots with high damage. And as you can see in the fire range, I'm telling no lies there. My first attachment is going to be the SA Kilanova stock to target fire aiming stability. This weapon doesn't have much in the form of actual recoil. It's a lot of visual shake. So that's what we're going to be targeting here. And the Kilanova stock is going to be giving you two ticks towards that fire aiming stability. For the rear grip here, I am using the XRK response grip for that actual recoil. In order to give it no recoil, you do need attachments like this one. And that's gonna give you a 10% increase across the board there to gun kick horizontal and vertical recoil control. Not really too much is needed for the rest of the build in my opinion, simply because like I said, a lot of it is more or less visual shake on the weapon. So for the next attachment, I am using a magazine with the 50 round 762 belt. That's just gonna increase a bunch of mobility and handling obviously it's a preference you can go with the just normal 100 round magazine i wouldn't recommend the 556 belt because it drastically decreases your damage but if you want to run a 762 belt whether that be the 100 or the 50 it's going to be your best option i personally like the 50 because of the mobility and aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed that we are gaining for my next attachment i am targeting a little bit more recoil control but i'm primarily using this attachment for the aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed increase and that's the sl skeletal vertical grip so that's going to increase your gun kick by seven percent recoil control by 8%, along with an additional 4% to ADS and 6% to sprint to fire speed. Sure, there were better options to target strictly aim down sight speed, but after trying all of them out, this one did feel like the best option. In my final attachment is the Zem Compensated Flash Hider. We are getting more recoil control here, but the primary reason I am choosing this is that increase to fire aiming stability. Between this and the stock, it should eliminate all of the visual shake on the weapon. But of course, we are getting recoil at 5% to the horizontal and 15% to the vertical. I tell no lies when I tell you this thing has no recoil. You saw in the firing range and you are 100% going to see it in the gameplay. So for my LMG fans, definitely copy these attachments down. You guys are going to absolutely melt some people. And as always, here's the rest of the loadout on the screen. If you guys needed to pause to also copy this one down, I highly recommend if you're an LMG fan, you chuck this thing on and give it a try. It's going to who shot people in certain circumstances if you're aiming for the head and you're going to absolutely shoot people across the map with ease. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. As always, let's get into it. Tack Evolver. I am not French. I can't say it. I never have been able to say it, but let's see what we can do with this thing. We got a lot of damage monster. Good at long range. Good at close range. Not really good at close range. I lied. Definitely not good at close range. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm on Afghan is simply because this thing's not good at long range. <laughs> uh, or I'm sorry, close range. If you're trying to use this weapon as an SMG, I do not recommend. You will probably fail miserably at that. I'm gonna. I was gonna take the sniper, but since there's no one here, I'm gonna keep my pistol for now because I basically have a sniper in my hand. And there's our UAV. I'm assuming these spawns were to have flipped by now. I need my UAV to ping. Doesn't look like they're behind me. I am not going to stay here because I know the lefty guy has a sniper based on the kill feed. Yeah, that's probably him shooting. Nope, that's another different one. Okay, what is it? K Katen? Oh, I'm out of here. Thanks for coming. Kind of playing how I need to. I need to keep my distance here. I still, to this moment, don't know where I originally got shot from in that situation. So I'm a little sussed out. Ooh, I saw you. I'm gonna be honest, I probably didn't see you. If you didn't have that skin on that, like, changes colors. If, if they take that skin off, I don't think I actually know where they're at. Oh shoot, this is a problem. So I didn't take off the trophy system from when I was using a shotgun. So a little bit of an L play on my part. I'm gonna have to run over ammo packs, maybe pick up weapons. Ah, that was a good kill on their part. I'll be upfront about it. 
That was silly on mine. Good kill on theirs. I didn't think anybody else was going to push, so... We'll go with this. I should have changed to an ammo box since I died, but I didn't even think about it. What are we doing over here? Oh, we're shooting my stuff down. And now I'm too late to the party. I did lock in another advanced UAV. I'm going to drop this VTOL right on the hill. No, I'm not. I'm going to drop it here. Somehow this lefty guy keeps getting UAVs. It's freaking me out. Now, good news is I have my advanced UAV up. Bad news is I've been late to the party. Other bad news, I don't know where I just got sniped from. Right there. Enemy is down. Crossing subjects. Drugy system active. Next hard point. Stand by. Hard point relocated. Somebody is feeding this lefty guy. UAVs though. Don't like it. You gotta stop doing that. You're gonna give me away. Come on, team. I believe in you. UAV. My I, every bit of me wants to go that way and shoot him in the back, but I'm not using a weapon to do that. Not to get up close with him like that. So it does not become worth it at that point. We're going to run because I know they spawn in the tunnel there. And again, I'm running low on bullets. Got to pay attention. I'm going to throw this out for the squad. And team locked me in a UAV. Legends. I got 50 bullets. I'm good. No, thanks. They all have snipers, man. I'm going to hit drop this. Where are they going to be? Should probably just drop it here. Mm. Not so sure. Oh, teammate just saved my life. And that's my DNA bomb. No, oh, of course. Oh, of course, I didn't pick up a single bullet. Why would I? Why would I pick up a single bullet? I can't believe I just survived that. I'm at 62 kills. You guys wanted to shoot it down? Have another. Copy that. Phoenix 2 3 is on station. Go for tasking. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Copy system online. Area updated. Move to the hard point. Don't regret it. Now, Omega, now I got a problem. Now I got 21 bullets left in my LMG. 
And uh, about two mags in my pistol. We got a gun. Give me this, I guess. I guess we'll snipe. Well, it was about time I died, to be fair. About time. Oh, this guy's. Oh, he did. I was going to say, that guy's still up there. That's a the guy I wanted to kill. It's about time to end the game. What do we think? Oh, my goodness. My teammate took over my score. We got to fix that quick. Oh, my God. I am dead. If I come out of this alive, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Nice try, lefty. I came out of it alive. I think my teammate showed up at the most ideal times. I actually didn't finish on top of the leaderboard. 75 kills, though.